Hello all, uh, Vinod here from Entrance Engineering Academy. Okay, so here in this video, I'm going to discuss about uh, two doubts actually, the two queries which has been asked by one of my student. So I thought, okay, this uh, doubt maybe will be there for almost all the aspirants who are preparing. Okay, so I thought of making it as a video so that will be helpful for all. So as I already said that. Uh, I'm going to make many general videos, right? So this is one of the general videos, uh, gate strategies for preparation from Endurance Engineering Academy. Right, so let me talk about the doubt. What is the first doubt? The first doubt or the first query is, um, should I prepare two subjects at a time? Should I prepare two subjects at a time? So that is the first doubt. Uh, what actually preparing two subjects at a time? Will it be useful? See, it's very simple concept. Um, what what will be my answer? I'm just give, going to give my answer. So the answer is, if you are starting the subject, okay. So if you are starting your preparation, not about starting the subject, if you are starting the preparation. So you are going to start the preparation this month only. For example, this is June. So you are starting the preparation in June. Okay. Then don't start with two subjects. Okay. Don't start. Start with one single subject. Okay. And my advice is, if you are starting freshly for gate preparation or for most of the exams okay most of the exams if you are starting freshly then my advice will be to start with engineering mathematics okay majorly for gate because for gate engineering mathematics is going to be 15 marks in addition to that that max uh, knowledge is going to be very much useful in core subjects also okay so that is why whomsoever they ask with me the students for any department those who are preparing for gate i will say that start with max Start with max, be strong in max. First, that is the task. Okay, so try to cover the topics completely in detail, solve all the great previous uh, air problems. Okay, and then you can go for the next subject. So now, once if you completed one subject, okay, once if you completed one subject, so the completed subject is old subject, right? And the subject which you are going to start is a new subject. So now, what you need to do. You need to take that one new subject and you will be having an on old subject, right? You just have to combine those two, which means what I was supposed to say. Um, for example, if you planned for preparing some seven hours or eight hours per day, okay, then try to read some five to six hours, six hours also try to read six hours new subject only new subject, start practicing it, doing the previous problems, read the concept, write the test series, all those things. Okay, how to prepare one single subject all those things has been discussed already right like how to utilize the course effectively and uh, although uh, like all the videos has been uploaded already so you can see that so that you will understand it how to prepare a single subject effectively okay now once after completing mathematics go for the next subject do all the procedures which is needed read the concept do the problems test series and the short notes update the short notes all those things now when you are doing this new subject all the subjects should be revised at least one hour per day. Okay, I am saying that at least one hour. Why I am saying at least one hour? Because you completed only one subject for now. So one hour will be enough for revising some topic of one hour, some topic from that old subject. So revising old subject means not necessary to revise completely. Take a part of it. For example, in mathematics, you studied calculus means take calculus and revise it today. But tomorrow when you are revising the same subject, you need to revise some other topic. For example, linear algebra. And day after tomorrow, when you are revising the same subject, you need to revise some other topic. So you need to plan it accordingly. So revision should happen daily and minimum one hour you should spend on the revision. Minimum one hour. Why I am saying minimum one hour? Because for now, you studied only one subject. But suppose you completed one subject, max is over. Another subject is also over. So two subjects becomes old subject and you are starting another subject freshly, new subject. Now this new subject, you need to concentrate more. For example, four to five hours. And now these two old subjects, you need to concentrate less, but still more than one hour. For example, one and a half hours, you need to revise it. You can practice some problems, tougher problems, all those things. Okay, right. And how to solve problem effectively for that also, I made a video separately. You can just check it out in the playlist gate strategy. Okay, right. So this is the first doubt. So should I start with two subjects? No, when you are going to start it at the beginning, don't start with two subjects, start with one subject that is engineering mathematics. My advice is in your mathematics. If you want to start any other subject also, it's up to you. Okay. And when I should start reading two subjects, 
when you when you completed one subject that time one new subject one old subject one new subject one old subject that should be your mantra throughout okay right so now the first doubt has been cleared i hope so okay so if you have further more queries about this you can post it in the comment section i will be answering you right what is the second doubt the second doubt is very simple how to make a timetable for um, any for exam preparation for gate exam preparation listen timetable preparation this is something which is most of us won't follow even it includes me okay i also won't follow the timetable properly but at the same time making timetable is very very essential okay why making timetable is very very essential let me answer it even if you couldn't complete the timetable fully okay if you are if you are planning something okay if you are planning to complete this particular subject in this in these days okay some 4 5 hours days 4 5 days even if you couldn't complete that subject in 4 5 days but you will able to make some progress in that particular subject maybe you completed 70 percentage okay so the balance 30 percentage you can revise the timetable maybe you could give some extra time buffer time maybe some 2 or 3 days extra and then you will be completing that subject okay so making timetable is essential and how to make it how to make it effectively let me talk about some, like let me talk about that okay first if you are making a timetable first thing is month timetable week and day month plan week plan day plan you need to make it like this what does it mean for example june month okay so in june month i need to complete i'm just giving you some examples fluid mechanics and engineering mathematics okay for instance i need to complete these two subjects okay um in this particular month that is your plan but that will be your overall plan okay i'm going to complete these two subject that is the month plan now week plan if it comes for a week plan what i need to study in this particular week for example if today is sunday from this sunday sunday to saturday what i'm going to study fully okay what is the topic which i'm going to study those things should be noted down here and a day plan what is this day plan next day what you are going to study should be written down in your note okay mostly try to make try to use a separate note for making all these plans okay so next day plan should be noted down in your notes on that day night itself for example today is monday means monday night you need to take a notes okay take notes means just write it out what you are going to study tomorrow you are going to study linear algebra going to study calculus write it down keep it separate what you are going to do in that that also you need to specify linear algebra i'm going to read it i'm going to solve all the previous problems i'm going to write a test on that particular linear algebra chapter write it completely keep it aside sleep happily the next day morning just you will be having a plan already because already the day before itself we made a plan so directly go for it and start doing the plan maybe you could complete the plan or you cannot okay maybe there is possibility for you to complete the 100% of the plan what you planned for for example you complete a linear algebra fully not how you planned but that if that happens then it is well and good go for that day night uh, write the plan for next day if that doesn't happen then you need to revise something what you need to revise that is you need to update it what are the topics which is left out in linear algebra you need to include that topic okay you completed one day you completed 80 percentage of linear algebra then this is the first day plan okay first day plan was to complete linear algebra but the result was result was you completed only 80 percentage so what i need to do from this result you plan for day 2 okay day 2 um maybe you will complete the balance 20 percentage of linear algebra and then you start with uh, the next topic calculus in calculus also you specify what are the things which i'm going to read what are the things which i'm going to do practice questions and all those things you just note it down properly okay if you completed 100 percentage here itself if your plan is completing 100 percent linear algebra and if you completed 100 percentage here itself then you can remove this okay it is not required so that is why day plan is also an essential thing and my advice is to make a day plan the day before like before you sleep itself if you make today night that will be more efficient because the next day you won't have to think about the plan because you already have a plan the, the before night itself you already planned something the before night itself so today you don't want to think anything directly you can go for it and you can start it okay so you can start the day with positivity
so that is uh, the two doubts which has been asked okay so i hope it it might help you okay so the first thing is uh, regarding studying two subject at a time uh, at a time yes you need to study two subject but when you need to start studying two subject not at the beginning at the beginning read one subject my advice is to go for engineering mathematics after after completing one subject you need to do you need to do two subjects one has to be old and one has to be new and regarding the plan time table don't hesitate to make a time table even if you couldn't follow even if you able to do some progress 70% 80% percentage progress in the time table that will be more than enough and plan it something like month plan week plan and a day plan and a day plan should be made the before day itself the before day's night itself okay so that's ends uh, this video so let us uh, see in the next video